Nous venons de clôturer il y a quelques instants. We've just adjourned a, a European summit with very important and difficult points on the agenda. You can imagine, given the context, uh, a war was declared a month ago on European soil. And uh, we, of course, had uh, the President of the United States with us last night to address the situation in Ukraine. And I would like to reaffirm, as you will have seen from the conclusions, uh, that uh, we are united, united as Europeans, but united with our transatlantic partners and all of those who want to defend international law. We are united in imposing sanctions. We're continuing to work to close uh, loopholes and make those uh, sanctions effective uh, so because there are direct or indirect mechanisms to circumvent them. We want to uh, combat that, working on that with third countries, and we're ready to take further steps uh, in cooperation with our partners in due course. We also had an opportunity to address the matter of support for Ukraine. And you will be aware that that is uh, support in terms of military equipment. That's a first uh, because lethal weapons are included. It's financial support. And in particular, I'd like to mention the decision to work uh, towards uh, setting up a trust fund to support Ukraine. And uh, we will be trying to make that a reality as soon as possible. Finally, we expressed our commitment to continuing to be to show solidarity in terms of managing the flows of refugees, because there are certain frontline countries, of course, uh, who uh, need to ensure that all those who are fleeing the war are received uh, with uh, a dignity. Finally, today, we discussed uh, energy-related matters. It's a very difficult subject, as you are, I'm sure, aware, because there is an impact being felt everywhere in Europe uh, uh, in terms of uh, energy prices, be it uh, gas or electricity. We've worked all day hard towards being able to show our unity and determination to work with each other with the Commission, with the Energy Council, of course, to take any measures necessary in a range of areas. Storage, of course, is one thing. And uh, there is the option of setting up uh, mechanisms for joint purchases and uh, then the whole range of proposals that the Commission has shared with us in its paper. We want to work with the economic operators, though, as well, to identify uh, very closely which measures would be the most effective. Finally, and uh, I'm not being comprehensive, of course, this evening, uh, but uh, we did also uh, work on conclusions on Bosnia and Herzegovina. We want to participate uh, in any way possible in stabilizing the situation. There will be an institutional summit uh, uh, with uh, China, of course, next uh, week. Uh, and then there's food security, which is, uh, of course, uh, very relevant in the current context. And we are launching an initiative uh, uh, alongside developing countries and the African Union in particular, entitled FARM so as to mobilize uh, uh, all the resources possible to deal with the challenges uh, in terms of food security that lie ahead. So that's all I felt I should mention at the end of this summit.